cichlid fry, cichlid fry, oh cichlid, 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 cichlid fry. Ba boom, 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 boom. What's up, YouTube? Hefe coming to you in Hefe's fish room. Got some interesting stuff going on, as y'all can see. Let me show y'all what I'm doing. Got my denitrator down. Uh, I'm taking it apart uh, because I'm getting ready to hook up that uh, drip system and I don't need it anymore. So I said, you know what? My subscribers might want to know what the inside of that bastard looks like before you tear it all apart. So that's what I'm doing, guys. Let me explain what's going on here. What I did was I disconnected the wires, or well, the tubes that went in the top and the side there. Uh, the side, this is how I had the side connected. Um, part of that was inside, part of that was outside. The inside was connected to the tube running all the way down, which you can see here. It's a lot of tube, guys. Uh, and that's not even half of it. Um, and then the other side, that's where the water came in, to, you know, from the pump. Uh, and then this part here at the top where the water came out, uh, let's see. Uh, was this tube which was connected to the top of that via a little spout that screwed in there so and to connect the tubing inside I use these little connectors here um, you can just kinda uh, it's hard to do with one hand there we go well sorry about the thing there guys but uh, anyways and that's what those look like just little connectors um, but yeah so and then as we pull the tube out see all the bio balls that come out uh, there's about maybe two three four gallons worth of bio balls in here uh, drained all the water uh, there's about five well actually about seven because this is about what was left in water after I filled up a five gallon bucket and this is definitely water you do not want to get on your floor uh, man it stinks bad but uh, anyways oh, there's another one but uh, yeah that's what's going on I'm gonna show you all these bio balls here um, they don't get dirty uh, which is wasn't what I was expecting. Uh, I figured they'd get dirty like most of your other biomedia does. It has that kind of dingy look, you know. But these are like uh, spotless is the day I put them in there. And just goes to show you that not all the bacteria is created equal. I mean, this is the stuff that housed the bacteria that uh, ate nitrates and got rid of all that. So uh, pretty interesting, um, you know. They still don't even know the names of some of the bacteria that uh, is inside of the aquarium, so, you know, it's pretty interesting, I thought. And, uh, you know, every, uh, how many feet? I think every 10 feet is one of these connectors, and there's a lot in there, guys, let me tell you. Um, so I'll just keep pulling it out a little bit, and then I'll let y'all go. But, uh, you know, I just want to show y'all just how many bio balls we got here. Uh, they come out as I'm pulling out the tube, but kind of hear them roaming around in there and this wire or I keep saying wire but y'all know what I mean uh, it's it's uh, it's not as slimy as I thought it would be uh, being in low oxygen I guess because not much stuff can grow um, but look at all these bio balls guys look at all these Woo -woo. I think there's more than two or three gallons it might actually be four or five gallons of bio balls but uh, what's going to happen with these is uh, well, of course, I'm going to use the tubing uh, that you see right there. I'm going to use that uh, for a few components of my drip system. Uh, and then all the bio balls are going to go over in my trickle tower there. Uh, that way I can have even more on hand. But, uh, yeah, guys, this is what I'm doing. This is what I've done. Rate, comment, subscribe. Let me know what y'all are thinking. As always, y'all have a great evening. And we'll see y'all next time. Peace out.